Here are some recommendations and general practices to make your spear fishing experience better. The first thing you need to do is check in with the FWC website to find out what fish are in season, what are the size and bag limits, and of course it's good to check in with your boat charters and your bait and tackle shops to see what's in the general area. Fish like structure, they like to hide from you and you have to go in and find them. And of course the thing everybody needs to remember is to go have some fun and be safe. Captain Sonny here. I'm going to tell you a little bit about how to shoot grouper and what you might need to do it. Uh, groupers are a little heavier, thicker fish than a snapper or a hogfish. A uh, small gun with two bands like this is great for the hogfish and snappers, uh, but if you're going to shoot a grouper, you got to have something a little more powerful, right? like this. I love the uh, sawed off magnum. Three bands, plenty of throw, gives you a lot of power. Remember, you got to get this on the other side of the fish to, in order to keep it. Now also I could go over some spots where you'd find them genuinely. It'd be Keys are a good area, Key West, Key Largo. Um, we do have a Key Largo store and a Key West store. Um, so you could go down there and find whatever you need, clips, uh, lines, anything like that, extra shafts. Um, but we have the Keys, you could go up to Jupiter, Pompano, um, and even on the West Coast, Sarasota is a good area to go as well. Just make sure you're looking at tides and currents and everything like that so you know that it'll be clear down there and you can hunt, what, hunt well and safe. Here are some accessories that'll help make your spear fishing experience better. First and foremost, we have a stringer. Once you shoot the fish and stone them, you want to bring the fish in, put them on the stringer that allows you to bring your catch back to the boat. You'll also need some gloves to protect your hands from the environment, accidental brush ups, and of course, from touching the fish and stuff as well. One of the things that Willie's wearing is our spear gun backpack, uh, which also doubles as a fish cooler. Most of our spear fishing people like a black skirt mask with some mirroring because now the fish can't see your eyes, therefore they can't see what you're looking at. The mirroring acts as a flasher and it does attract the fish. Then of course we have our spear tip covers which helps protect the tips of your spear shafts.